This video is about identifying Native American artifacts and even those crazy stones back here that no one knows how to read. I have each one of these lined up into the same part of the story and you will see when you know what you're talking about. I want you to look at the resemblance and similarities in the shape of the rock and what I'm pointing out. Here's the eye. Here's the beak. Here's the eye. Here's the beak. Here's the eyes carved out here. This is the beak. Here's the eyes carved out here. The axe head. Beak. Both of these are axe heads. Another axe head. Here's the eyes carved out here. That's what people say it was connected to the stick with, but it was. But it was there for a reason. There's the eyes. There's the beak. There's the eyes. On this hand blade, you can see it real good. There's the beak. Pull it out. Here's the beak. Here's the whole old hand axe. Here's the eyes, the old slot and hand axe. Everybody talks about the slotted axe is actually the eyes of the bird. Here's where the beak wraps around. Here's the eyes of the bird. Here's where the beak wraps around. The ones I'm fixing to show you a little better more are angry birds than what you would. Here's the eyes. Here's the eyes. If you have dark spots on your rock and people tell you it's something, then you have paint, what you think is on your rock, and people tell you it's iron. It is paint. That is paint left by the Native Americans. Look at it as paint. You will see something totally different, and you'll see what they don't want you to see. Again, this part here is a dark spot in the eyes. And on the G10 museum quality, here is the dark spot on the eyes. Here's the beak. Here's the eye. Here's the eyes. Here's the beak. There's the eye. There's the beak. If you want to learn more and learn why the Masons are trying to cover it up and erase Indian or Native American culture, this is the place. Subscribe. Country Boy Archaeology. Till next time. Happy rock hunting. Look at that beauty.